Hey guys, what's happening? LT Dot here. So the only real punishment that was posted um, on my last video was to eat a box of KD and spin around 25 times. If you don't know what the punishment is for, it's because I didn't make any Christmas vlogs um, for 2011. I did for 2010, but not 2011. So uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it open for two days, hopefully, and uh, yeah, post some punishment. Yeah, I'll be recording my punishment. Sorry, Mississauga Missions, I can't marry you. That's kind of, uh, yeah, sorry. You're awesome, though. You keep watching. You're awesome. Anyways, what's been going on in my life? Not a whole lot, I guess. Well, a lot, but not. This week, past week, has been reading week, so I've been doing homework, working, hanging out with uh, my friend Michelle. Yeah, that's pretty much my whole week, I guess. So, what else has been awesome and new in my life? Not much. I've become more of a nerd, as in like a gaming nerd. During Boxing Week, I picked up a PS3, and so I have a bunch of games for it now. I have Final Fantasy XIII, Assassin's Creed I, um, Assassin's Creed II, and Revelations, and I want to get Brotherhood, but that's the original one, uh, original game that I want to play, Brotherhood, but I have to play the other ones in, to build up to that one. So it's going to be take me a while since I'm in school and working and everything. So um, is there another one in between? I'm not sure. Leave a comment below. I also bought Rayman Origins. I'd have to say, it's really fun. I actually just bought it yesterday. I haven't opened it yet, but I played the demo uh, yesterday morning and it was really sweet. I bought the game and I also bought an extra controller so I can play with someone because playing alone sucks. And I can also do online co-op, which is pretty sweet. Also picked up a while ago a 3DS. I don't remember if I showed you guys, but I'm not going to check. I picked up three games for it. I have Pokemon White version, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Ugh. It's like the camera's all like freaking out because of the lighting. Devil Survivor Overclocked. This last one is a tactical RPG and I don't think I've ever played anything like it because usually when I associate RPGs I think it's just like one person just like you know walking around exploring stuff but this one you just kind of read a lot and so it's a it's a good game. Um, I still have to play through a lot of it though. Mario game's so short. It's only like I only played for it like 20 hours and yeah, it's good, but it's really short. I don't remember if I showed you guys this, but I bought this in Camrose when I when I first had my first summer in Edmonton, and it totally it totally lights up. Here, I'll show you guys. Ah! One up. No wait, no, this is the one off mushroom. This is the grow mushroom. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, I went to this thing called winter camp. Before I explain any of this, um, if you guys don't know, um, I am a believer in God and Jesus. Christianity is my faith. I don't really feel like I belong to a denomination, but yeah, anyways. So I went to this thing called winter camp and like three churches, the youth groups get together in this one place and you know we worship and stuff. And the theme of this camp was lead and be led. I feel like it was a really good topic for me to learn. For me, I guess for a lot of people too, I used to have trouble, you know, about uh, talking about God and why I love Jesus and God so much. I didn't know how to approach someone. Like, it's not like I wanted to have like some agenda of like, oh, I'm going to convert you to Christianity. It was more like, for some reason, I didn't feel comfortable talking about Jesus to other people because I was afraid of, you know, them saying something back at me and then me not being able to defend myself. Two things at the camp really stuck out to me. One was I am a normal person who loves God, hanging out with other normal people who don't love God yet. You just approach people as like a normal person. Like some, I guess, Christians are really portrayed as like some crazy people with Especially that one church, I don't remember, but they have like protests all the time. Um, no, I don't want to be like that. I want to just be a normal person who hangs out with normal people. 
And um, another thing that stuck out to me was in our walks in life with God, um, we don't have to go it alone. Well, I used to be like, you know, if there was some kind of like issue going on in my life, I would, you know, just close up into a shell and just not talk to anybody about it. After this camp, I just realized there's so much support and it was all right there in front of me that I don't have to go and find it. It's right there. But yeah, I had a really emotional weekend. I had like liquids coming out of every orifice of my face. Just bleh. Yeah, out of like here and here and like, nah, it was a disgusting mess. But anyways, I guess that's what I wanted to share with you guys. And apparently I'm losing my voice, so I'm gonna stop talking now and go drink some tea. And yeah, next video, I promise, I pinky swear, it'll be the punishment video. Um, I don't know when that's gonna go up because my schedule's kind of busy, but yeah, wait for it. Okay, see you guys later.